our door is always going to be open for you and for others. We're going to make sure that we're responsive and accessible to the constituents of this city. That's so needed. I've been going to doors as well, thousands and thousands of doors. And there are concerns, and there are needs, and we're making sure that we're taking good notes and that we're echoing those uh, concerns throughout this campaign. Uh, I, I, I'm not a politician, and I'm not going to sit here and promise at all these things to you because you can't deliver all these things. And we have applied to grants. Uh, we have nine active grants right now, and we have four others that we just recently uh, applied for. And it comes back to that knowledge that I talked about earlier of understanding what the mayor's department does and what you oversee and the hard work involved. When, it, when if you are fortunate enough to get into that office, I will work with you because you will need help in that office when you get there. You do not have an understanding of what is involved in running this city. Uh, I, and I and I have to I have to say that because I'm, I sit here and I know that with contract negotiations alone, how much time it takes. My my campaign and my platform is built from you. It's built from you because you talk to me, you give me your ideas, and then I move them forward to reality. And that's what a good elected leader should do. We should represent you, and that's what I plan to do in the mayor's office. I'm very much looking forward to this next. Um, uh, several years, and I really do hope that um, you give me the opportunity to work with you and the city. We spent a lot of time with contract negotiations. Uh, we had four health insurance health insurances reduced down to one. We had a hundred and ten million dollar liability that faced us as taxpayers over the lifetime of our retirees <coughs> and our city employees. We reduced that down to seventy eight million dollars. My opponent has been endorsed by the CSEA City Hall, by the police union, and she's taken $1,000 from the police union. I did not go for those interviews. I purposely did not go for those interviews because I felt it was a conflict of interest. Because in our charter, and I respect our charter, I respect our, our form of government, you as mayor have to negotiate those contracts, and you have to sit at the table before them. And when you accept these sort of endorsements and this money, I question your capabilities at that table. And I cannot stress enough to everyone here that I'm not a politician, and I do believe our better days are ahead of us, and I will fight and I will move things forward. And this is all of our town. I will work for all Saratogians. We must work together. You're going to hear that from me. I don't care what political party you are, because I'm interested in being mayor and staying mayor. I'm not interested in being senator. I'm not interested in running for other office. And I'm not interested in using this as a platform for higher office. And it's, it's just a great honor to have been an elected official for eight years at the county. But I do think the mayor's office is where I can make a more positive impact for this great city and move it into the next decade. So um, with that vision and with this uh, comprehensive plan continuing into next year and with all of you and bringing new businesses to the city, increasing our infrastructure uh, funds and, and making sure that we're going for those outside sources of funds that I know how to do because we are missing out on so many grants right now. The state is always saying that why is the city why is the mayor's office not applying for these grants? I think it's really imperative that we find more outside funding and we bring in more property tax money so that we can continue to keep the taxes low. The revenue from the VLTs is something I'll continue to fight for. And if you, I'm going to ask, if you're satisfied with the way this city is right now and the way we've been in the last six years, then I am the candidate to elect. And if you feel that there are there's a lot wrong with this city, and that we need a lot of change. Then, by all means, you've got your you've got your choice. But if you believe, like I do, with all my heart, that our better days are ahead of us, I humbly ask for all of your support and that you get people out to vote. Because let me tell you about the votes in our community. In the last three elections, they've gone from 8,400 people voting to 7,400 to 6,700 people out of a 17,000 registered voters. 
And that comes with the Keene administration, the Kim administration, and then Brent Wilkes against Scott Johnson. 6,700 people is all that came out to vote. It is critical that, yes, we all work together, but we have got to get out. We have got to know what the issues are. And if we don't know what those issues are, because everybody works hard in this town, it takes two people to run a family. You've got to trust who you put into this position. And you've got to know that what gets done will keep Saratoga moving forward. And I am that candidate. I believe it firmly. I believe it with my six years' experience as deputy mayor. I believe it with the knowledge that I have to move this city forward. You have a distinct choice between, the, and I appreciate what the supervisor has done these eight years, don't mistake it, but I don't know what her, I have not heard yet what she has accomplished other than a few things that, you know, I, I, I just question. So I, I just I need to say that to everybody. Everybody has to take a good, hard look at, the, our, at us as two candidates, and I really humbly ask for your support on Election Day, and I promise all of you, I will represent you to the best of my ability. And I thank you very much for pulling this together tonight. And we need to all work together to ensure a successful city in the country. And again, you are the gem of that.